our district does a really good job of being student focused, making sure that the kids' needs are met, making sure that we, again, find out what levels they're at, where we can take them from that level, but not only just engaging in the kids in the classroom, but finding out about them outside of the classroom, engaging with families. I think that we have some fantastic um, resources that provide for the kids. We have books at all different levels. We have um, books in all different languages. We have people that are servicing them to help engage them in school. And I think it's just been a huge advantage to be in a district that definitely provides those resources to make kids succeed. We offer a, such a huge range of opportunities for our students that I don't see necessarily in other school districts. We also provide within those, those clubs and organizations a lot of opportunities that provide for the community but also take the students outside of the community to kind of get a more of a global perspective. I love it here. I really do. Um, you know, I think that one of the best things I love about Middleton is truly like the community. We have great students. We have great parents. And then, um, you know, we have a great support from like the local businesses in the area that are always doing everything to lift us up. We have a wonderful community in Cross Plains for Park Elementary. The parents are super supportive and the kids are great, of course. But the people I work with are what make coming back every year great because we really work together um, and I think it's partly why I wanted to raise my family in the district too and when we had our son wanting to live in the district so that he could experience the same things that I was seeing as part of the district as well. I think that our staff is so dedicated to this amazing common goal of, of being there for our students and providing what they need. So I think we are the one of the top and the best program in the state of Wisconsin first and foremost because of our athletes and because of our families that support them. Um, following that I would say we have the best coaching staff in the state of Wisconsin. Not one of the best but the best coaching staff in the state of Wisconsin. I'm sometimes curious if everyone is fully aware that the amount of money that the state gives us for our student enrollment hasn't increased in a number of years. And yet the things our students need have increased. And with the pandemic, I feel like we've only seen a greater need for resources, support, more adults who can kind of help students parse out their feelings and experiences from the pandemic. And it's it's difficult to think that yes, every the whole state needs to ask for a referendum. The whole st state needs to demand that every single one of our students is worth more. So there's so many great people that have left in the past few years and I'm shocked as being the instructional leader, how hard it is to find people to fill positions right now. Um, and I never thought this would be a district where we have like positions unfilled all year long for like special education teachers. And, and then what you get is, you know, everybody here is willing to step up and be supportive and, and do the jobs of, you know, positions that we can't fill but then they're overworked to the max, and then for their own personal sanity, they have to find something else to do too. We don't have enough staff members already. We, we have really three bilingual resource uh, specialists that work with families, regularly with families for the whole district. And uh, it is intense what we do, trying to help them out and try to bring our families. So if we don't get the resources that we need, we're taking steps backward because, you know, we are not going to be able to have the capacity to provide all these meaningful services to our families. We're going to go back to basic and, and, and basic services is not enough. We need, we need to get more. I think the people don't understand that maybe that are on the community, how much of a collective it is at a school to educate children, that it's not just classroom teachers, it's not just encore teachers, it's not just principals, it's all the paraprofessionals. It's the custodial staff, especially at Park School, Mr. Peanuts, and the, the treasure that he is and how much joy he brings to our building. The kitchen staff, everybody that is involved in has stake in what we're doing. And I feel like we can't lose anybody. Like I feel like that losing anybody is a loss for everyone. Um, and in fact, I think we would need more, right? We need more people in there to help love these kids, to help educate these kids, because that's what we do. I think what we do best is we care and we love for our kids, and the more people we have to do that, the better. Great teachers have come into our building who have left for more money, left education because they feel under-supported, and then left because they felt like they would never be able to buy a house someday. 
they would never be able to pay off their student loans or they would never be able to maybe give their own children like some of the opportunities that our students get. Staff is working a whole lot more. We have now the best schools that we've ever had. Mechanically, we have to keep them that way. Our staff, the mechanical staff, and maintenance mechanic staff, janitorial staff, we are short. We are short on people. I do volunteer, a lot of volunteering here, but I, I love my job so much that uh, I'll, I'll, I'll give some because I just wanna return something to the kids in, in the community. I think our superintendent already let us know that they've already made six million dollars worth of cuts, so there's a lot that has already happened. If you said the referendum didn't pass and we'd have to make more cuts, I can't think of one single program or one single person's position that I think that would be easy to do without. Um, so it, it scares me a little bit as to what we'd have to give up that we've had the chance to have with the kids to be able to bring the best to them. So I can't, I, I wouldn't be able to tell you one thing. I'd say, yeah, they can get rid of this or they can get rid of that. I would hope that we can at least stay at the same caliber we are or be able to do better even than what we've got. It's putting us in a situation where we're kind of competing with our local school districts because they're all in the same situation as we are. And my fear is if things don't move forward for us that we're going to lose families and staffing to local surrounding school districts. And if we are asked to now justify why we need money, feeling competitive with one another or feeling like we need to compete for funding, it's only gonna make our morale hurt more. And I think we'll see more teachers who are right on the edge leave. It's a tough time to be a teacher, but at the same time, it's also one of the most important times. Our kids need teachers. They, they need good teachers. They need the resources that, to, that are provided to the teachers to help um, to provide an amazing education to these kids and a, an amazing experience. We know how to support our students. We know how to support their learning and who they are as people. And knowing that and then not being able to do that would feel really hard, um, both for me as a teacher, for me as a person, but then also for our students and their families. order for us to continue with the success that we have across our district um, and not just with regards to athletics and activities but as our, with, within our district as a whole we have to be able to embrace and understand that change is here and change is now so for us to be able to move forward we got to embrace that and do what it takes to make sure that our district um, continues to function in a way that promotes keeping our staff and not losing our staff and students and families. And what happens in our walls doesn't just stay within our walls because these students are part of the community and their, their families are part of the community. Um, so in a sense, as, 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 as a community, we all need to be working together. People come to Middleton because of the schools. They will come to Cross Plains because of the schools. And it's important for us to keep them strong. I like I said, when I was looking to move and buy a house, I wanted to make sure I bought in this district because of what it offers everybody, what it offers the kids. And I think that the community is very supportive of that. And I want to make sure that we continue to show them that we're going to be a district, a destination district for families to move into.